to walk you through installing and setting up the RaceQ's phone app. The first thing to do is to search the store on your phone and install the application. After it's downloaded, once you open it, you will see that you have several options to log in. You can either log in using Facebook or log in with an email like I've done here. It doesn't matter which one you use, but it's very important that you use the same credentials to log into your phone as you do to log into your account on racecues.com. After you sign up, the app will automatically open on the perfect start page. If you click over to settings, you'll see that the app is running. You can tell because it gives you the option to stop. So when you first download the app, it is already running. If we hit the stop button, you'll see it turn to launch. Now the app is stopped. Let's go through some of the other settings so that you can learn the basics of setting up the app. The first thing that you'll need to do is put in your boat name. This is important if you plan to record or replay with other boats so that you can recognize which boat is yours in the regatta. The next thing you need to select is how you want to upload your GPS tracks and sailing data. You have three options, Wi-Fi, cellular, or to turn it off. If you select the Wi-Fi option, all of your tracks and sailing data will be stored in your phone until you come into Wi-Fi signal. Then it will automatically upload and show you how many kilobytes it uploaded here below. This is a great place to check if you're not sure whether your tracks were uploaded or not. The next option is cellular. If you have cellular on, all of your information will be broadcast live to the RaceQ's website with a five minute time delay. This means that while you are racing, if you leave your app running and set it to live, anyone can log in and watch you sailing virtually. If you select the off option, you can always change to Wi-Fi or cellular and any tracks that were stored in your phone will upload to the website. The next option in the settings list are the voice cues. There are a number of voice cues that you can turn on and off. You can also set the frequency by assigning a certain number of voice cues per minute. You can always get your speed and course, but in order to get the drift, wind shift, and boat handling cues working, the phone needs to be mounted. Mounting is totally optional, but it does enable some additional features of the app. All you need to do to mount your phone is to affix it, stick it down in some way to the boat so that it's parallel to the boat's center line. Let's take a quick look at the optional calibration function. Now remember, mounting isn't necessary, but if you are using that and your phone isn't level, just hit the calibrate button and the phone will automatically detect the pitch and roll to make sure that your data will be accurate. Like any app, the RaceQ's app does consume battery life when it's running. So if you're going to be busy before the start of the race, you might want to set the auto launch. Just select the time you want the app to start and it will automatically launch, saving your battery life. In order to make sure you don't end up with a dead battery at the end of the race, we've built in an automatic shutoff. You can select what critical level you want the app to automatically shut off at. When this happens, you will receive an alert and the app will turn off. Now that I'm registered, I'm ready to test out my app and make sure it's properly linked to my account. So the first thing to do is to hit the launch button and now the app is running. You need to create some data you can walk around the block or just walk around your house. Once you've let it run for say a couple of minutes, hit the stop button and then here comes the trick. Hit the track upload and see if any data has uploaded. And I can see that seven kilobytes did go because I was set on Wi-Fi and I'm in a Wi-Fi network. So now all I need to do is log into my account on racecues.com to check out my test replay. Okay, so we've already signed up on the app. So let's log into our account and take a look at what we've uploaded. You can see here, we could also log in with Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, this is the easiest way. It will automatically bring over your picture and makes it easier to find your friends. So here I am logging in with the same information that I used when I registered for the app. And here you can see, I was sitting in my house, kind of waved the phone around, and you can see that it looks like I have a 3D replay here that I can watch. I simply click the play button
So since I was just testing this, you can see that my boat just looks like it's sailing on land. But now I know that the app is working. So when I go sailing, I should be able to use it. For more information or to learn more, you can simply confirm the email tutorial series that we're gonna send you after you register your app. All you need is a smartphone, the free Rescues app, and your free account on rescues.com. Download the app to get started today. And if you need any more help, you can send me an email at support at rescues.com.